saw a woman, young, already rotting, a persimmon, hands deep in hooded jacket pockets, touching her boyfriend only where their elbows meet at the crease, before their forearms burrow into their respective pockets like such lazy young rattlesnakes, ready at a moment's notice, but unthreatening for now. The adolescent and her boyfriend are identical in position, legs wide, feet planted, firm as roots, backs resting too comfortably on blue plastic seats, and hands so deeply engaged in pockets. They are both asleep. The boyfriend sways with the familiar harmony of the train's lull, mouth lazily kept stiff, wait. His lower lip droops. His eyes rest firmly over his eyeballs. The girl, decaying from the ribcage outward, wakes more easily, jerking and then settling. Her eyes remain somewhat open at the bottom. A good quarter inch of eerie white eye remains exposed, and I do not know whether the young woman, with eyes half open, notices me staring. The persimmon jolts. Curtain eyelids only flutter and return to their half-hearted zombie glare, as if the mere act of totally shutting is too difficult for them. There is something striking about eyes not fully closed, a certain fluorescence. I admire their nonconformity. I watch the woman's eyes stutter and flit like so many nervous, jumbled stagehands, forever opening or closing the curtain at the wrong time. They and I and eyes, empty as a pocket, all unsure, all quiet, for now. <laughs>